Hello everybody, it's Yami and welcome to another Gacha Live mini movie. Today's story is called Colours and I'll have the link to the original in the description so do make sure to go and check that out. This one has been made by Gacha Forever 2004. I'm really excited for this guys if you are too. Remember to leave a like on the video. Make sure to check out my merch store at yamimerch.com and now let's get into the Gacha. Hi. I'm Caitlin. In my world, there's one thing that everybody cares about, hierarchy. You may be wondering, what do you mean by that? Well, there's three main ranks that you need to know about. First, the high ranks, also known as the purples and reds. They're wealthy, talented, and everything anyone has ever dreamed of. They're treated like royalty and are looked up to by the rest of the world. But like most, they are selfish, rude and only care about themselves. They make up 5% of the population. Next, we have the mid ranks, also known as the pinks, teals and oranges. They are the most common, making up 54% of the population. They are considered as the normals as they have a pretty average life. Most are considerate and kind hearted, but if they come across a low rank, they won't hesitate to make their lives miserable. Some think they're better than everyone else, but if they come across a red or a purple, you'll soon see them running to their mummies. Why does it seem like every rank so far are not very nice people? And then there's the low ranks the blues, greens and yellows, the rank I come into, were considered as the weak ones and are always ridiculed by the upper ranks. We make up 40% of the population and are always looked down upon. We're the last to be chosen in groups and the first to be kicked out. I guess you just have to get used to it for the rest of your life. Oh, I feel really bad for the low ranks. I want to be friends with them all. I'm here for you. <laughs> you may be wondering, what about the other 1%? Well, these people are known as the supreme ranks. The gold, they're extremely mysterious and not a lot of people know they exist. They have absolute power over everyone, but often disguised as a red or a purple. This is so they can hide their identity from the rest of the population. They also have a peculiar mark on their cheek. No one really knows what it means. Some believe it's a sign of power and control. Others believe it's a sign of dark magic. Ooh, dark magic, that sounds mysterious and fun. Or mysterious and terrifying. If we ever see a gold, we're told to stay away. And now, I'd like to tell you about my life as a yellow. Caitlin, Caitlin, what do you want, Dad? You need to get up for school. Okay, fine. I'll make breakfast. Ugh, this is the third school this month. I don't think I'm ever gonna find the right school. Time to prepare myself. Hopefully there's not many higher ranks. I guess I have to get changed now. At least they give us our own uniforms. Oh, this is her third school in a month? Why is she being kicked out of the other ones? I wonder. After getting changed, the shirt is too big. At least my skirt is the right size. Oh, she's brushing her hair now. That is such a cute hairstyle. Loving the ribbons. Another school. Yay. Caitlin, breakfast is ready. Here goes nothing. Looking forward to school? No. Oh, sweetheart. There's no need to be nervous. It'll be okay. Promise? I promise. I've baked you some brownies for you to take to school. Thanks, Dad. I know I can always count on you. You should go now. Don't want to be late for your first day now, do you? I guess not. Thanks, Dad. Anything for my one and only daughter. Oh, Dad is too wholesome. We must protect him at all costs. You're making me feel lonely. I'm sorry. Now, get to school before you're late. Bye, Dad. I'll see you after school. At school. Hopefully she isn't late, because that would be terrible if she was. I made it. Now to find the principal's office. Um, excuse me. Hello. You must be the new student. Yep. That's me. Follow me and I'll show you to the principal. Thank you so much. I wish the other colors were as nice as this. Are you okay? Sorry, I blanked out. It's okay to be nervous. Now, follow me. I'm Isla, by the way. Caitlin, it's this room here. Just knock on the door and then you can go in. I'll wait here. Thank you. Oh, wow. Is this a principal? She's very fancy. 
Loving the hat. Miss Everest, I believe? Yes, that's me. I'm here for my schedule. I'll get it for you. Ooh, I wonder what classes she has today. My favorite was always art and drama. Here you go. Thank you. I'm Lavender Lotus, but you must address me as Madame Lotus. Got it. You may go now. Another low rank. I can't believe we're forced to let these low lives into this prestige school. Wow, the headmistress is a little bit mean, isn't she? And she's not very accepting. I got my schedule. That's great. What class are you in? Hmm, class C3? Aw, we're in different classes. It's okay. I'll see you at break. What's your first lesson? Math. That's strange. What do you mean? I have math. There's only one math class in the morning. I think your schedule is messed up. So could we be in the same class? Yay! Let's go. In class. Wow, that is so lucky they managed to get in the same class but it's math class and I hate math. I am so terrible at it. If you're good at math, let me know in the comments because that's impressive. As some of you may know, we have a new student joining our class. Please introduce yourself. My name is Caitlin and I'm 14 years old and I like songwriting and I'm a yellow. Please take a seat behind Isla. Oh, she was so nervous to tell everyone she was a yellow. I bet she's worried that people won't like her. Ugh, I can't believe they've let another lowlife into the school. I know, right? This school used to be for high ranks only. And now look, it's full with the lowlifes. My mother can just expel them. She can't just expel them like that. She needs a good reason. Well then, let's make a reason. Quiet to the back of the class, please. As I was saying, after class. And that's how you solve a difficult algebra equation. There's a quiz on Thursday, so prepare for that. Caitlin, you don't have to do it. I'm saved. Class dismissed. Oh, come on. Just because I don't have to do a quiz doesn't mean you can ignore me. And besides, we've literally just met about two hours ago. But all of Miss Elson's quizzes are really hard. You don't know the struggle of trying to get at least one answer right. Believe me, I've had similar problems with teachers from my other schools. You've been to more than one school? Yes, unfortunately. Seven to be exact. What for? The higher ranks didn't like me. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. It's fine. I'm glad I've met another low rank though. My other schools had no low ranks, so I had to try and cope by myself. But that never ended well. Well, I'm here for you. Thanks. I'm here for you too. We have a break before our next lesson. Why don't we practice our powers? Sounds good to me. We can practice in the school gardens, if this school has one. Oh yeah, we do. Almost all schools around here have them. Let's go. Here it is. It's amazing. I've never seen such a beautiful garden before. The gardens in my other school have just been small, boring squares of grass. My school didn't have a garden. We had a football pitch and a field. That was it, really. I wish we had a garden to relax in. That sounds amazing. There's more gardens here too, but they're only for the higher ranks. Maybe if we practice enough, we can level up to become a mid-rank. I'm on level six. You? Level four. I haven't really had time to practice. Now's your chance. We should be able to get to level 20 by the end of the term. I hope so. Let's start. Try and aim for me. I'll try. Oh wow, she's going to use her powers. I wonder what they do. I can't do it. Try again. Come on girl, you can do it. Whoa, what was that? There's no way you're only a level four. Only tens and above have that skill. I haven't really been keeping track of my level. You should. What's the point? I'll never become a mid-rank. Yes, you will. You just need to keep practicing. By the powers you have, I estimate you to be a level 12 or 13. Aw, I wanted to be a level close to yours. Don't worry, we'll get there soon. You're too hopeful. I was raised to be. Anyway, let's practice a bit more. I love how their friendship has blossomed already. They're so cute. BFF goals. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Those measly low ranks are trying to upgrade. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's help them upgrade. You think of the best ideas, Nathan. I'm so glad you're my bestie. Let's teach those low lives a lesson. One step ahead of you. Wait a second, what is she up to? She's using her powers. Oh, she's so mean. Caitlin, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. What happened? I don't know. I just lost balance, but I don't know how. Oh wow, I'm loving the powers in this story. They're so sparkly and pretty. It's almost time for our next lesson. We should head back now. Okay, in class. Hello girls, for today's drama class, 
You'll be working in pairs and you'll be recreating a Disney scene. That sounds like a lot of fun. I want to be in this drama class. Ugh, not even the slightest bit of enthusiasm. No? Ugh, this class is no fun. Exactly. Can I like go on my phone now? Yeah. Please can we go on our phones? Whatever. If a teacher comes in, tell them that I forgot I had a lesson. Wait a second, why would she say that? She could lose her job if she's not teaching and admitting to it. Has she left? I think so. Let's do some TikToks. Sure. sure. I never say no. After school. I'm gonna go now. I'll see you tomorrow in class. Okay, see ya. At home. Who could that be? Hopefully it's not my brother. I guess I'll just have to check. Ooh, who could it be at the door at this time? Oh my, she has her eyes covered up. I wonder what's going on. Beverly, I thought you were supposed to be here for five. Can I see my sister? I'm sorry, but she can't know the truth. What's so special about a color? It doesn't define who we really are. Just go to your room. Your sister will be back soon. Yes, father. Dad, I'm home. Oh, okay, I didn't make the link. But these two are sisters. Sis, why won't you let me see my own sister? I can't tell you just yet. Why? What are you hiding from me? Caitlin, we've been through this. I can't tell you. I'm going to my room. I wonder what's going on. She's not allowed to see her own sister. And that was actually the first time that we saw her sister. If only you knew the truth. Oh, she's so upset. What is he hiding? I want to know why I can't see my own sister. I'll find out one way or another, even if it's the last thing I do. I'm going to see my sister the next day. Oh my goodness, she's just fallen out of bed. Girl, are you okay? That hurt. Time for my second day of school. Let's see if my new powers have come. Oh wow, yes, they most definitely did. It worked. Thanks to Isla showing me. Let's try a new hairstyle. Oh my goodness, I'm loving the big tails. So cute. Perfect. Now about these sleeves. This will do, I guess. It's really quiet. Maybe dad has gone to work early. That means chocolate cake. Yes, chocolate cake for breakfast sounds like a great idea. I want some. No chocolate cake. Well, oh, what? She doesn't have chocolate cake. That's so sad now. I wonder what she's going to have instead. Oh, she's grabbed something. I don't know what that is, though. Candy. Oh, girl, no, that's not a good breakfast. No Jolly Ranchers or chocolate. This couldn't get any worse. I guess I'll just go to school with an empty stomach. At school. Stop laughing. It's not my fault my dad ate all of the chocolate cake. Would it make you feel better if I bought you something from the cafeteria? You'd do that? Thank you so much. You don't know how hungry I've been on the way here. Anything for a friend. Now, I'd better hurry up because school starts in 15 minutes. Could you do me another favor? What is it? Can you get me some Jolly Ranchers if there is any? Here. I know it's not exactly chocolate cake, but oh my goodness, it's a big bar of chocolate and she's already eating it. <laughs> Why do gacha stories always make me hungry? One question. Mm-hmm. When can you pay me back? Okay, so it looks like we're on our way to another class and oh my gosh, terrible. She's just crashed into one of the worst people you could possibly crash into. Whoops. Why did she do that? That's Rochelle Lavender, the principal's daughter. She gets away with everything because everyone is below her. So I'm guessing she's not a very nice person. Pretty much, yeah. She also has a sidekick, Adrian Tristel, your typical red. He thinks he's the best and he's mean to literally everyone in the school. Just stay away from them as much as you can. If you even look at them, you'll be at risk of getting expelled. Got it. Now, let's get to class before we're late. After class. I wish we were partners for the project. It's okay. Cody is an old friend of mine. I'll introduce you to him. Thanks, I guess. I just wish we were partners. It would have been a lot easier to do the project. Come on. Cody should be on the field by now. We don't want to miss him. What do you mean? He represents the school in the powers competition. Powers competition? Did you even read the email the principal sent you? What email? Ugh, I guess I'm gonna have to explain the details. Yeah, every fall, our country holds a competition for selected schools. There's usually around two to three hundred schools, and they basically compete in certain challenges to see which 
school has the best power. This school was lucky to be chosen as one of the candidates. Five students from each school are chosen by their principal to represent them. Each of them have different challenges that they must face in order to qualify. There's six stages, I believe, and each one gets harder and harder to complete. Only the so-called high ranks are able to compete the last few challenges, but only the supreme ranks have been successful at completing the final level challenge. And we're lucky enough to have Cody representing us. Looks like someone is fangirling. Shut up. Ooh, is there something you're not telling me? We're just friends, that's all. Aw, I thought my bestie would have had a crush. Let's just go meet your project partner. Okay, I guess. On the field. Thanks for helping me get the dye out of my hair. No problem, Millie. But how did it get on your hair in the first place? It's a long story. I'm just glad we managed to get the purple out of my hair before any of the high ranks noticed me. The purples would have been so mad at me. Hey, Cody. Oh, it's you. Isla, you startled me. Sorry. What brings you here anyway? Well, I was thinking maybe you and your project partner could get to know each other a little bit more. As you already know, I'm Caitlin. And I can help with the drawing part of the project. So, you're an artist, huh? Not quite. But I do like to draw here and then in my free time. Sounds good. I'm Dakota. My friends call me Cody. And I'm one of the members of the powers competition. Isla has already told me a lot about you. Ow! That hurts. Serves you right. Overprotective much. Can we go now? You don't want to miss the practice round. Yeah, sure, Millie. I'll see you two around. See ya. I don't like Millie. She seems suspicious. That's what I thought. What's up, Millie? You've been acting weird ever since Isla came over. Why do you talk to them? They're low ranks. Can't you tell? Yeah. And? And? You're not supposed to be talking to them. We're mid-ranks, if you forgot. I can be friends with whoever I want to be. I've been friends with Isla since middle school. Let's make a deal. What deal? Get that new girl expelled from here, and you can stay friends with that Isla girl. If not, then I'll get Miss Lavender to expel you and your measly blue friend. It's Madame Lotus. Whatever. And you wouldn't get me expelled. You really think that this is a joke, don't you? Just wait. Okay, fine. It's a deal. Good. I already have a plan to have her expelled tomorrow. Millie is pure evil. I really hope her plan fails. Did you hear what they're planning? Every part. Let's play along until they realize that we've been listening. Got it. I wish the purples and reds would stop being such meanies. Why do they have to make lives even more miserable? I wish I was a high rank. I could do whatever I wanted without being ridiculed. But I guess that'll never happen. I'll just be stuck as a measly yellow for the rest of my life. Right. School. Why can't they just leave my little sister alone for once? She's been through enough already. I think it's time they all know the truth. What truth? I want to know. Is it about why they can't see each other? Ooh, drama. At school. You know the plan, right? Yeah, let's get to class. We don't want the plan to fail. Okay. Little do they know, we have a plan B. Exactly. She has the same hairstyle as me. Ew. Plan B has already started. Let's go tell your mom about her. Let's go. Mother! What's wrong, princess? That yellow you let in had the nerve to copy my hairstyle. And now she's showing off to the whole school saying how good it is. This is why you should never let low lives in the school. Wow, she is just so mean. What is her problem? Also, she's just flat out lying to her mom. Don't worry, dear. I'll have it. Thank you, Mum. Anything for my princess. Now go with Nathan and get to class. But Mum, I can't let you skip. Fine. Bye, Mum. Bye. This is a last straw for these low ranks. One more wrong move by this yellow, and I'll get her expelled. I'm counting on you, Rochelle, to make sure she gets what she deserves. Why is the principal evil too? What is going on? People are so mean in this story for no reason. Caitlin, to the principal's office immediately. This can't be good. I'll wait for you. Thanks. You called Madame Lotus? Yes, yes I did. What gives you the right to copy Rochelle's hairstyle that she's worked so hard on? I, I didn't. Then how do you both have the same hairstyle? I would tell you the truth. But high ranks never believe low ranks when it involves them. My daughter is extremely upset by this, and I demand an apology. How can I apologize when it was her that copied me? Oh wow, it's getting heated in the principal's office. And if you think I'm gonna take orders from a Karen like you, 
You have another thing coming. Say one more word and I'll expel you right now. You can't expel me when I did nothing wrong. I'm stating facts here, but like usual, no one cares. It's always, well, you're a low rank, so it's your fault. I don't think it works like that. Get out. Gladly. Expelled? What for? Apparently, I copied Rochelle's hairstyle. But that means that we can't talk now. You have my number, don't you? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I couldn't even stay three days in this school without the high ranks making a rumor about me. I think it'll be easier if I was homeschooled. I should go now. I'll talk to you later. Bye! I guess it's back to dealing with the high ranks with Cody. Wait a second, her sister has turned up! Beverly, take me to your principal. There's no way you're getting expelled. But what can you do? You'll find out. Okay, follow me. Here. Who are you? And why is she here? I'm her sister and she's staying in the school. Oh honey, I'm a purple and you're yellows. What could you possibly do to me? I'd suggest you do your research before making assumptions. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, your majesty. This won't happen again. No, it won't because I'm getting your job taken away from you. Now scram. Oh my goodness, it all makes sense now. Her sister is a gold. That's crazy. I really wasn't expecting that. And don't come back. I never knew I was sisters with a gold. That's the secret that we've been keeping from you all of these years. And the reason why we couldn't talk to each other. My eye, it stings. What is it? Your true color is starting to show. But how? Is dad a gold? No. But our mother was. What happened to her? She went missing from town and no one has been able to find her. That's what we can do. We can go and find her. Sounds like a plan. And just like that, my life was complete. We bought a new house. Dad got a better job. And Beverly graduated. And that's the end of my story. Until more adventures in the future. And guys, that is where today's gacha has ended. I really like the twist at the end there with the sister being a gold. And in fact, Caitlin was a gold. Guys, if you did enjoy that, make sure to leave a like on the video. And if you want to watch another one of mine, you can click here and let's go watch it together.